Hello everyone, how is it going? It is yours truly, the BEP with weapons. And I'm going to be doing an overview of the Odinworks Adjustable Buffer. I absolutely love this product. I, I kind of talked about it a bit in uh, the previous videos in the LER47 uh, build series. Uh, but I'm going to just do a dedicated video for this. Uh, I think it's warranted. And I think this is going to really uh, uh, help out a lot of people doing really crazy, unique builds or whatever. Uh, people who really want to fine tune their AR-15 or they want to correct for something that they don't like in terms of how the firearm performs uh, then this is the product for you uh, I have here the the actual buffer and then of course this is everything that came with the um, came with the product so you get extra weights again this is an adjustable buffer and of course you get two uh, allen wrenches right here you get the large one and then a small one the small one is for the set screw right here that holds in this giant nut and um, that's essentially it. This is this is where you load and unload your um, your your weights. So the 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 weights vary. Some of them are heavy. Some of them are light. Um, in terms of what you should do if you were to put this in your rifle, well, that's entirely dependent on what it is that you're trying to achieve. So for example, some people will buy an inexpensive AR-15, nothing fancy, and it's over gas. Usually what that means is the, the, the gas hole in the, uh, on the barrel uh, is, is oversized. And you get an excess amount of gas going through the rifle, going through the, um, the, the gas tube. And that makes the action in the upper receiver a little violent. Um, so you're, gonna, you're, you're not going to get desirable uh, you know, uh, recoil management. It's probably going to be a little loud. Um, and one way that you can correct for that is to have a heavier buffer. So uh, depending on what it is you're trying to do, you need to lighten the buffer. You need to increase the weight. Well, this is the best way to do it. Uh, I absolutely love this. This is incredibly affordable. Uh, for me specifically, I didn't have that issue. Uh, I had an issue with it not cycling properly. I think it was uh, a situation uh, where it was under gas. It wasn't, no, it wasn't over gas or under gas. It was in some weird limbo area. So I had to play around with it. So if you're trying to fine tune your rifle and you're not entirely sure, um, you know, uh, how, how heavy or how light your buffer should be, this is what I did. I started off the heaviest. So I had uh, three heavy, uh, three of the heavy weights inside. And if it wasn't cycling the way that it should, then I would take one heavy out, remove it with the light one, and then I would just, you know, play around with it. Um, so here, let me show you how you load and unload this thing. So you have the small Allen key, and then right here is the set screw. You don't have to push it out all the way, just, uh, just a little bit right here, just a little bit. And then the rest comes out pretty, pretty simple. You know what? I think I need, I think I need to move this just a wee bit more. There we go. Oh. Wow, I'm just retarded today. I am a silly person. All right, here we go. So we got this giant fucker. Take it out. And then you have the weights, and now this is completely lightweight. Now this is what it's going to look like in, on the inside. So you have weight, you have a weight here, you have this, uh, what's it called? This, uh, this rubber pad that goes between the weights, another weight, another weight. So this one is, uh, so with my specific build, with the LAR-47, the custom LAR-47, I went with a heavy, light, light. And that works that works well for me. I have no issues with my firearm whatsoever. It fires incredibly reliably. And that is how you go about adjusting it. Um, I love this, man. I, I've had no issues. I ran, uh, you know, I've already shot hundreds of rounds through my through my uh, LAR-47, which shoots 7.62 by 39. And uh, this is holding up really, really nice. If, uh, I just wiped it down, and it looks it looks relatively new. Honestly, this looks really, really good. I'm, I'm impressed with what I have done. Now I'm going to go ahead and load it up again. So, again... You put that in there, then you put in the rubber pad, make sure it's flat, 
put that in there put in the other uh, rubber mat and then the last weights and then where to go here it is Yeek. now this is a you know this came at a wonderful price point I'm gonna go ahead and throw it up on the uh, throw it up on the screen I picked this up at optics planet there's a lot of options out there this is what I chose uh, you know decided to go with uh, Odin works uh, most of their products are made in the US I don't know about this one I have to double check I'm gonna say yes but I could be wrong it's, it's like kind of like UTG like UTG some of their products are, are made in the US and then some of them aren't I don't know how that works but whatever and that's it man this is the Odin works adjustable buffer the only issue that I had with this and and this is only specific to me so if you if you were to go and pick this up you're not gonna have this problem uh, there's a retainer pin most uh, buffers uh, have these and they retain the nylon tip um, right here where I'm pointing at and this retainer pin was was uh, popping out it was popping out and that was really unfortunate so I called up Odin Works, or I emailed them, I sent them pictures, and they went ahead and sent me, um, you know, new new uh, pens right away. Um, so thank you to them. Uh, they they've been uh, wonderful and professional and very friendly. And again, that wasn't their fault. I just got unlucky. It's very 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 likely that you're not going to encounter these problems. Um, and just to compare the difference, here is a rifle buffer. This is for the rifle, and this is the, uh, you know, the this is for the, the adjustable carbine buffer. Uh, so this is actually relatively lightweight compared to this. Uh, still. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that is the Odin Works adjustable buffer. I hope you enjoyed this overview. If you have any questions, um, you know, please feel free to ask. And is this the only way to, to fine-tune your rifle? Uh, before I go, th th this isn't the only way to fine-tune your rifle. There's other ways to do it. You know, you can, um, oh my god, what, what is my, my security system saying? Man cave. Yeah, anyways, um, there there's multiple ways. To fine tune, sorry guys, I got distracted by my my security system. Uh, there's multiple ways to fine tune your rifle. One of them being is uh, you know getting an adjustable gas block. Well, if you got something very inexpensive and you don't have the tools to remove your current gas block for an adjustable gas block, um, you know I, I don't know what to say. Um, you know you, you can't fine tune it that way. Uh, getting an adjustable bolt carrier group that that's also uh, probably going to be very expensive and out of your budget but you can get an adjustable buffer this is around uh, retails around 50 60 bucks maybe less when it's on sale um, and again I, I vouch for this product I, I absolutely endorse this product I think it's a glowing endorsement Odin works is awesome they are definitely worthy of your patronage so uh, yeah man uh, if you guys have questions like I said please feel free to ask I'm um, here and uh, just leave a comment uh, I'm including my discord channel in the description anyone is welcome uh, I had a bunch of people in the old one but I don't use it anymore and I you know I did some stuff with it so that's out of the question and I, and I feel bad because everybody was there now they're not all right <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video thank, thank you have a good night God bless